Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to Insane Ian's Cheat Day. Basically, just whenever I go to get my lunch and make a video for the Internet. <sighs> anyway, today we are trying the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. For those of you who are unaware, Impossible Burgers are 100% plant-based burgers. No meat whatsoever. I have been trying to cut down on the amount of red meat that I'm eating. So I've had Impossible Burgers before, I've had the Beyond Burger before, which is supposedly one of the best uh, that you can get con commercially. It's a, the, the consumer brand is Beyond Burger. You can buy Beyond Burger patties in your grocery store. They tend to be a little expensive, but they are worth it because if you didn't know any better, you'd think it was a burger. Impossible Burgers aren't available commercially as far as consumers being able to buy them to cook them themselves. They're only available in restaurants. Lots of restaurants across the country have them, and now every Burger King across the nation has them. They did a, a nationwide release of this a couple weeks ago, so I stopped at my local Burger King to get the Impossible Whopper. I haven't had Burger King's version, I've had it from a couple different restaurants. There's a place here in Illinois called The Red Barn, they had served Impossible Burgers. Fat Burger was serving Impossible Fat Burgers, so if you have a fat burger near you, you can try it there. There's a place here in Illinois called Burger Fi that also does the Impossible Burger. There's a place in Fells Point, Maryland called Alexander's, it's this small little uh, cafe restaurant right there in Fells Point, right by the harbor, that, that has uh, Impossible Burgers there. They've all done it really well. Some places I hear, though, don't do the Impossible Burger as well as some people would hope and it's all in the preparation. Cooking the Impossible Burger and also the Beyond Burger, the, really the trick to it is to actually grill it on a grill, and that is really where the, the flavor profile shows forward in, in the sandwich. This is the most amount of information in an insane Ian taste test that I've ever done. You're welcome. But that's what gets me excited about the, the Burger King Impossible Whopper, because it's flame broiled. So we're gonna try that now. I got the Impossible Whopper. I didn't ask them to leave off the pickles or onions like I usually do when I order a Whopper. We're gonna get this. It is right away. <laughs> That's a lot of onion on it. Uh, and that is a big, that is a satisfyingly large sandwich. And that is the Impossible Burger right there, looking like a burger. I'm, I'm gonna take off these onions. I don't mind onions. It's just the onions that they have usually are a bit much. These pickles seem gross, and there's a lot of them. I also don't mind pickles. I just tend to not get them from fast food places. Just a, a thing an ex-girlfriend told me that she, when she used to work at McDonald's, makes me know to not order pickles and onions. But anyway, decent sized sandwich, decent sized burger, or patty I should say. That is not meat, but it sure looks like meat. Let's see if it actually tastes like meat. Let's see if this tastes like a Whopper. It was pretty good. My sandwich farted when I bit into it. That was weird. And I'll probably be farting a lot later because lots of veggies. But still, it tastes great. It tastes like a flame broiled burger. If you were to look at that, like that looks like a Burger King burger. By itself, without any bun, without anything else on it, it kind of tastes like a Burger King burger. Not a hundred percent, but it's enough to, the texture is right, the flavor profile is right, and I think what really gets them past it, what really works in their favor, is being able to flame broil it. Now, if you're looking for something vegan, this isn't gonna be it, because it's gonna be cooked on something that they cook meat on. They're not gonna have a separate station, at least I don't think so, to cook impossible Whoppers on, because not everybody's going to be ordering that. It's not going to be 100% vegan because it's going to be cooked on grills that chicken and other meats have been cooked on. But I think that actually helps the flavor profile for those of you who are looking for an alternative to eating red meat and aren't going the 100% vegan way. It's definitely got the great flavor profile there for it. If you really want to blow people's mind at Burger King though, when you go to order the Impossible Whopper, order it with cheese and bacon. Just make them lose their heads. That's fun. But for those of you like me, who's trying to avoid eating red meat all the time, this is a definitely a good option. Now, I'm not saying it's 100% healthy either, but you're getting the protein that you need, you're getting vegetables, a ton of them, in a meat shape. Vegetables in a meat shape. Sounds like a They Might Be Giants song. Anyway, short and to the point, this is delicious. I'm going to finish this as my lunch now. You have watched me and I've given more information and less jokes in this episode of Insane Ian Taste Test than I've done in anything. You're welcome, I guess. This is this is what dieting has become. I've become boring and complacent and any eating veggies instead of meat. But whatever, it's tasty. It's my lunchtime. 
I go to eat out very little and I film it and put it on the internet. It seems like a lot more in the past couple of weeks because I've done a couple in a row, but some of them were filmed weeks and months ago. So you're only seeing them now. Whatever. Ah, uh, food for me. Ah, uh, food for me. Ah, uh, bye. Uh. More restaurants need to do stuff like this. I'm not crazy about peppermint. Uh -uh. I'm not crazy about PBJ. No way. But if you stick it in a cookie form, uh -huh. you know I